Welcome to the Mantis Bible Study 4 video series. This is What's New in 4.9.1. We've got a few new features that are really exciting that we want to tell you about here. Uh, if you're familiar with tap and hold, uh, which is used inside uh, the iPhone, the iPad, the iP iPod Touch, uh, starting in uh, the iOS 3.0, it lets you tap and hold to select an area of the screen and then copy it to the clipboard. Well, we're extending that uh, facility so you can do some really interesting things. For example, let's say I'm in John chapter 3 in the New King James Version here, and I tap and hold on the word Nicodemus to select Nicodemus. Um, I can copy it to the clipboard just like I always could before, but now um, I can tap the new More menu and I get four new options. Highlight, Find, Define, and Share. I'm going to show you all four of these options here. We'll start with Highlight. If I select Highlight, this is a quick way to highlight a few words or a phrase or a verse. It's not designed to highlight across a paragraph boundary or highlight an entire uh, uh, chapter that's not going to work, but uh, small sections. If you quickly want to highlight, you just tap uh, highlight, tap the color you want to highlight, and there is uh, there's the word highlighted. I can do uh, a larger phrase by tapping and holding, and then uh, maybe if, if I want to do the entire verse, I just uh, drag the handle to the end of the the verse here, tap more, highlight, and let's say I want to do it in blue. It'll highlight the entire verse in blue, and uh, if you want to remove the highlight, it works the same way. Uh, tap and hold, select your area up to the entire verse or the entire paragraph. You hit more, highlight, and then I'm going to hit clear to get rid of it here. Okay, so that's highlighting. And again, the old highlight system still works. If you go tools, you can turn the highlight bar on, select a color, tap and hold, and that, that uh, I'm sorry, tap the first word and tap the last word in the highlight section, and that still works just as well. This is just an extra way to do it. Okay, um, the more exciting features are coming right here. I'm going to show you if you take, uh, let's go back to uh, the word Pharisees here towards the beginning of the chapter. I'm going to tap and hold, whoop, tap and hold on Pharisees, tap more, and then tap find. What it's going to do is do a an exact search on the word Pharisees and show you where it's found throughout the Bible. In this case, Pharisees is only found in the New Testament 29 times in Matthew, 11 times in Mark, 22 times in Luke, 19 times in John, and 5 times in Acts. Now let's say I want to zoom zoom in on just the times that the word Pharisees is used in the book of John. All I have to do is tap John with my finger and I'll see all of the references right here. If I want to preview those verses, all I need to do is tap on a verse uh, reference, like this one here. And if I tap it, it brings the verse up so I can read it. If I tap it again, it goes away. And I can have multiple verses at the same time. If I tap John 9.15 and John 9.40, I can see both of them here. And any combination I can have up on the screen. Again, if I tap John again here, it'll get rid of all of the, the John references, so I can toggle those on and off. If I want to jump into Acts and see, you know, where do they use the word Pharisees uh, in the book of Acts, I can tap and preview these and again get rid of them. Um, any text that's inserted through a tap and hold menu will have a red X that'll tell you uh, that tapping this X will get rid of the text. So I tapped it and uh, there we're back to the the original the original text now this will work on any um, on any word or phrase you, you certainly wouldn't want to highlight an entire verse or an entire paragraph and try to search for it because you're not going to find it except for that one time where it where it exists but uh, it works very well even on phrases if I uh, tap and hold Jesus and then uh, select Jesus, Jesus answered and said. That's kind of a common phrase in the New Testament. If I want to see how common it is, um, I can uh, tap more, tap find, and see that it's used in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John um, almost an equal number of times, 12, 11, 12, and 14. If I want to see everywhere in John where uh, the phrase Jesus answered and said is used, I just tap it, and then I can preview these individual uh, verses. And now if I see a verse that I want to use, uh, I can always tap the the NKJV. This is the New King James uh, uh, 
link and uh, I can either jump to this verse, analyze it, or in this case I'm going to just say uh, bookmark this verse, uh, which adds it to my list of bookmarks so I can go back and preview it later, which is really nice when you're building a study. I'm going to go ahead and uh, close this. So that's the find feature. The uh, next feature from tap and hold is the uh, is the define feature. So I'm going to go ahead and tap uh, tap and hold on Nicodemus here. And I'm going to say more, tap more, and then tap define. Now what this does is it's going to go through any dictionaries that I have installed and search for Nicodemus in those dictionaries. Um, now only dictionaries based on English words work. Uh, it's not going to work on Thayer's Greek definitions or Brown Driver Briggs uh, Hebrew definitions because those are based on um, Strong's numbers. But any uh, any dictionary that uh, has an ABC index uh, throughout will will work great with this. If you don't have any dictionaries installed, you can't do this. Obviously, I happen to have several dictionaries installed, and you'll see that there's links to uh, uh, some of them in blue and some of them in gray. The ones that are in gray. What we're doing here is we're just telling you that you have the Vines uh, dictionary installed, but there's no entry for Nicodemus uh, in the, in the Vines dictionary. So it's it's silly to click on these uh, links that are grayed out because you're not going to find an answer. However, Easton's Hebrew. Uh, uh, Hitchcock Bible Names, uh, the ISB and NCD all have entries for Nicodemus and I can just tap to preview these uh, these entries. Here's uh, the Easton's Bible Dictionary entry. Uh, um, Hitchcock's Bible Names is interesting. It just shows me Nic Nicodemus means victory of the people. Same as Nicholas. Good information, especially if I'm teaching a lesson. I want to mention that. Um, if there's see also links, you can uh, tap them and get the cross reference and tapping them makes those links again toggle in and out. I'm going to tap the HBN link to get rid of that. I'm going to tap ISBE. Here's the uh, International Standard Bible Encyclopedia entry for Nicodemus, which is pretty cool. And again, if there's uh, verse references inside of this entry, I can tap those to read that scripture. And when I'm done reading this uh, dictionary entry for Nicodemus, I can uh, just tap the X uh, to make it go away. So that is define. The uh, last uh, option is uh, share. If uh, you tap and hold and you want to tap like a verse or two, um, or even just a part of a verse, you can uh, tap more and then share. And then it's going to allow you to share that via email, very similar to, uh, to the option that we had in the, uh, the verse menu where you can email an entire verse. This allows you to just select a portion of a verse or a section of verses. Again, you cannot select over a, a um, paragraph boundary. So if you try to select part of this paragraph and part of the next one, it's, it's uh, most likely not going to work, at least in 491. We may work on that for a uh, future version. Now let's say you want to look up uh, Pharisees here and you want to do a find and see where it's found except you want to see the word Pharisee and see when how many times that's used instead of the word Pharisees. Okay, there's a little trick here. You tap and hold the word uh, Pharisees. Now Pharisees is what we'd be looking up now but if I drag this uh, handle over and highlight just the word Pharisee without the S it's a slightly different uh, lookup. It's looking for the word uh, Pharisee singular. And if I hit find, you'll notice that it's it's found in fewer places, Matthew, Luke, Acts, and Philippians. But it's going to find uh, things where the word Pharisees was not found, which is uh, sometimes you want to do that just to try to cover all of your bases here. For example, blind Pharisee, first cleanse the inside of the cup and dish. So it, it's found things that you wouldn't normally find. Um, another thing, um, I'd like to show you is uh, when uh, when you're defining something, let's say if I go into define, you can uh, drill down and define things inside of a definition, which is really interesting. If I go into the ISBE uh, entry for Nicodemus, and uh, I'm reading the uh, reading the definition here, and I see oh the word Sanhedrin. Well, I want to define Sanhedrin or get more information on Sanhedrin inside this. A definition of Nicodemus, I can even tap and hold on the word Sanhedrin and say more define and then look at uh, let's look at the uh, ISBE entry for Sanhedrin here. Now this is an, a definition inside of a definition so uh, and I can go as deep as I need to to go 
<clears throat> while I'm doing my study. When I'm done with uh, the Sanhedrin definition, I can close it. <clears throat> and then when I'm done with the Nicodemus definition, I can close that as well. That's pretty cool. Um, again, I can select multiple words, but most of the time a definition isn't going to appear on multiple words. Um, one more thing I wanted to show you on selecting words. If you're in uh, an item or a volume that has Strong's words, for example, let's look at the New American Standard with Strong's, the NASS. You'll notice if I try to tap and hold on Pharisees here, I could tap all day long. When I release, I'm just going to get the um, Strong's definition or the New American Standard Strong's definition for Pharisee, for Pharisees here which gives me the Greek word, which is really cool, but I wanted to use the new tap and hold feature. It's not going to work on an underlined word. There's a trick to this. You can do a couple of things. You can either tap and hold on a non-underlined word, um, if you can get it. In this case, I tried to tap on was and I got named and it didn't work. Um, it's very tricky. However, if you go to um, a blank area of the screen, in this case over here, anywhere where there's lots of white here or the background, you just tap and hold in that area and it's going to highlight the entire chapter. Now you don't want that, but just keep holding your finger down until you get to the word you want, in this case Pharisees, and then release. Now Pharisees is highlighted and I can tap more and I can tap define and I can do all the the wonderful tap and define tap and hold features inside the NASS. Now an alternative is you could go to tools and temporarily turn off the strongs numbers um, and now I can use it just like any other volume but if you want to keep those strongs numbers on um, again tap and hold in an empty area and then move your finger around to find the word and then at that point you can uh, move the the uh, handles around to highlight a phrase and do to do do whatever you'd like in that point uh, in that case I'm gonna go back to the uh, New King James here where I was doing my study and show you one more feature here um, the color-coded links uh, in the BYOSB or Build Your Own Study Bible. I'm going to jump down to John 3, 7 because I know that we don't have uh, entries for every single uh, commentary for John 3, 7. So I'm going to tap the verse number. and This should be familiar to you. Here's all the, the different versions of the Bible I have installed. And they're all blue because there's an entry for John 3, 7 in every one of these Bibles here. But you'll notice down here in my commentary entries, uh, Believer's Bible Commentary, InterVarsity Press, uh, John Corson Application Commentary, MacArthur, um, some of these links are in gray. The grayed links mean we don't have a direct entry for this verse, John 3, 7. So if I were to top, tap the MacArthur link, it's going to say no entry for John 3, 7. And it'll let me go and look at the entry for John 3, 5 or the next entry for John 3, 8. But there's no direct entry for John 3, 7. So that just gives me a visual clue that, you know, I can I can look at the entry for the NIV Study Bible and that's going to have an entry as are all the other blue ones. So that's, that's pretty slick. The last uh, item that's uh, uh, new in 4.9.1, uh, uh, besides uh, a lot of the bug fixes, is under Tools, uh, Options. If you scroll down, there is a new link to uh, turn off the swipe chapter change. Um, so right now, if I swipe to the right, it's going to change uh, chapters from John 3 to 4. And some people, uh, that got a little annoying because they didn't realize that if, uh, as you were uh, dragging your finger up and down the screen if you moved it from side to side you would be changing chapters in a, a swipe motion so you can turn that option off uh, if you like under tools options uh, chapter swipe just turn that off this has been what's new in 4.9.1 we hope you really enjoy using the new features of mantis bible study